Have you ever fantasized about this question? If you are flung into the Dungeons and Dragons world of Faerun, where beholders lurk underground labyrinths and dragons rule the skies above, how would your story be told? Statistically, you'll most likely be peasant number 26,375, getting chased by a particularly nasty goblin with an eye for your chickens. But let's say, if you got really lucky on your stats roll and you let your personality dictate your career path, what do you think would your Dungeons & Dragons class be? Hello everyone, my name is CJ and welcome to the beginning of your adventure. This video is the starting point of a YouTube Choose Your Adventure game that will determine your Dungeons & Dragons class based on your personality and modus operandi. By clicking on the answer thumbnail that appear at the end of the video three times successively, your class will be revealed. When you create a character, you can pretend to be a flamboyant rockstar bard, ferocious dragonborn paladin, and anything you're not in real life. But sometimes it's just easier to play a class that reflects your own personality, especially for first-time players. These classes are based on their latest iteration, 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. So without further ado, let's start the game. You are a seasoned adventurer, not quite a renowned hero yet, but you have completed a few big quests and your name is on the rise. Your exploits have attracted the attention of the king, who is eager to employ you. There is a critical quest that he believes only you can accomplish. The Kingdom of Greymark has engaged in secret negotiations with the Holy Principality of Alvera to form an alliance against the forces of the Doom Lich. Richard the Licher. Your mission is to guard the envoy who is tasked to deliver a sensitive document to Alvera. To aid you in your task, His Majesty has bestowed upon you the Cloak of Disguise. With it, you can keep an eye on the envoy without drawing any unnecessary attention to yourself. Three days have passed since you had accepted the quest, and for three whole days you had been watching over the envoy from a distance. The journey has been uneventful thus far, so that night you turned in early. On the morning of the fourth day, you are awakened by screams and the sound of metal crashing in the distance. The envoy's wagon is under attack, but by who? Now you need to choose what you are going to do next. A. You can stay back and try to assess the situation from a distance. It will take you longer to make out what's happening, but there is less chance for the assailant to notice your presence. Hey, you can't complete the mission if you get yourself killed, you know. So there is no shame here, really. Or B. Approach the scene. It will be risky. You might get discovered, but you will immediately know what is happening. Prompt decision making is the key to victory, and you might miss out on vital information if you dally. You can choose your answer now. Stay back and stay safe, or risk a bit by approaching. There is no wrong answer here, it is just a test of your personality. You can pause the video if you need more time to think. You can also choose your answer by using the link in the description section below. 